Hey guys, welcome back to uh, my channel. We're gonna do something different today. Um, picked up a uh, new bike. It's a hardtail, uh, 29er. That's uh, a Vitas Centier uh, baseline model. So we're gonna give it a run on the trails here at Bluff Point and uh, put it through its paces. Uh, recently, Pink Bike did a review on this bike, so. They gave it pretty, uh, pretty solid review, so we'll check it out here in uh, New England trails. All right, this is the Vita Centier 29, uh, size large. Um, comes with uh, nuke-proof bars, uh, Tektro brakes, uh, Exfusion 130 millimeter, 32 millimeter stanchion uh, fork. Um, the WTB ST i30. 30 millimeter wide rims wrapped with uh, Magic Mary in the front and a knobby nick in the rear. Uh, Dior 1x10 drivetrain with a uh, 11 to 46 tooth uh, cog in the rear or cassette in the rear and then a um, 30 tooth uh, chain ring. Grade D to a dropper post because the base model uh, did not come with one so this one is a uh, brand X dropper at 150 millimeters um, Other than that, it's pretty much uh, it Looks pretty solid um, I put an MRP bash guard on the bottom because of uh, logs and stuff around the area uh, I'm running crank brothers uh, Candy pedals. We're gonna take it for a spin now. So Vetus on their website says this is a long slack aggressive hardtail at 66.5 degree head tube angle, I think it's semi-aggressive, but we'll see. I'm running my tire pressure, 23 in the front, 25 in the rear. <clears throat> and we'll get up to some climbs, do some rollers, see how she feels. All right, coming up to the first climb here. Very efficient for a hardtail, definitely. Too bad. Definitely the reach on this bike is pretty short. 446, I think it is. Normally I'm running at uh, 475 because I'm 6'1. Normally when I get a large bike, it's got a pretty big reach, but this one's short, so. I didn't feel too bad there. Got a drop coming up here. Definitely can feel the difference from a hardtail to a full suspension. Tell you what, this is pretty snappy in the turns. Do a little bit more climbing here.
Yeah, not bad at all. Got a nice little two foot drop. And then a steep downhill roll out. Nice. All right, I'm gonna try this short technical climb up and then uh, we'll hit a small jump line here. Just to see how she does. Not too bad. And roll into the jump line. Very composed. Uh, kind of bottomed out on the rear on the first jump oh when i came off the roller but other than that it's pretty solid all right here we're at a second jump line uh kind of pretty flowy um nice big rock roll at the beginning a couple other little kicker jumps a couple berms uh let's see how she rides through this Rock roll. Nice. Oh yeah, feels good. Is in the corner. Oh yeah. That turning radius on this is great. I think the rest of those drops are a little too big for this fork. Like I said, it has 32 millimeter stanchions. It was only 130 millimeters of travel, so for another good section here. on the bars. All right, I got one last trail to test this hardtail on. This one's pretty long, pretty flowy. Um, I don't think there's a climb at all. So a couple of rock rolls, um, a rock hop over a log. So we'll see how she does on this. Expecting good results like I've had for the last couple other trails. So we'll see.
wasp on that corner. Is this even the right trail? That fork is working out great. We'll say that. I'm very surprised. together yeah that feels good on this you can double that out <laughs> solid bike uh, a couple things um, you know two three foot hooks are good no issues but if you go any bigger than that you might want to upgrade the fork to maybe like a 34 millimeter stanchion um, size other than that the x-fusion fork is it's good it's very good um, I was surprised the only thing about that is the rebound there's no clicks so you it's just a smooth dial so you have to kind of like fine-tune it um, where you need it so uh, that's the, just the only downfall on the, on the fork itself tires are great holy smokes um, the one thing I would recommend is running a cush core in the rear so that way you can get down to like a depending on your weight um, you can get down to like an 18 19 you know PSI so it's a little bit more cushion in the rear because you know it's hardtail so um, brakes were good uh, they stop it's got 180 millimeter rotors front and rear, so that's a good sign too. Uh, just a note on the drivetrain, uh, the one by 10 is perfect. It, the 46 tooth is awesome. Like I don't need any more than that. Um, I have a Eagle, a SRAM Eagle setup with a 51 or a 50, not sure. I think I have the 50 tooth. And I don't ever use that gear, ever. Because as soon as you get in the gear, you're spinning out because just too much torque so I always go one lower um, on my other drivetrain so the 46 tooth is good for a 10 speed uh, I don't see any issues changing that drivetrain out anytime soon so hope you guys enjoyed the video thanks for uh, sticking for the ride and uh, see you on the next one